So, converting units of weight between different uh, units of measurement, both imperial and metric, both SI base and non-SI and derived units. The SI unit for weight is, is the kilogram, which is 1,000 grams. So to convert any measurement of weight into its SI unit, you have to convert to kilograms. There are conversion constants for all of the different, the different units of measurement for weight, including for pounds, for ounces, for stone, for tonne. So if you know the constants, then it's as simple as multiplying by those different constants. The kilogram and the gram is based on the same linearity as we saw with distance, whereby we're working in powers of 10. So 10 to the 0 will be kilograms, if I have 1 kilogram to convert it to grams, it's 10 to the power negative 3, because we have three zeros in front of our kg value to give us a gram value. So one kilogram is 1,000 grams. So the one is multiplied by 10 to the 3 to get our gram value. Our gram value is multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3, which means it's multiplied by 0 0.001 to get our kilogram value. So if I have 10,000 grams and I multiply that by 0 0.001, that gives me 10 kilograms. And in this case, 1,000 grams gives us 1 kilogram. And from the kilogram to the ton, you're talking about a 10 to the power 3 relationship again, whereby your Kilogram values have to be divided by 10 to the power 3 to give you a gram value. So 1 kilogram is divided by 10 to the power 3 to give you 0 0.001 tons. And of course, just like with the others, you have milligram, microgram, nanogram, and the like. And it'll be progressively smaller powers of 10 counting in 3. 6 and 10 to the power minus 12. We'll do a separate video to get into these, to get more familiar and comfortable with these exponents and these different powers of base 10. But needless to say, if we have anything related to the gram, we have a kilogram or a ton or a milligram value, we can convert them amongst each other by just using different powers of 10. But with the non-metric units of measurement, it's not a power of 10, but a different constant that we have to use to convert between them. So if I'm given a pounds value and I want to convert that to kilograms, I know that one pound is equals to 0 0.45, 45 See? Which means that if I'm given, let's say, 180 pounds is equals to what in kilograms? It's a question mark. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fine, I'll take it away. And then we have to take that 180 value and multiply it by 0, 0,4. Five, nine, 81.65 81 kilograms. So that is our constant to convert from pounds to kilograms. And in order to convert back, if we want to convert the 81 kilograms into a pound value, we can now divide by this. So dividing by 0 0.45 is the same as multiplying by just over 2, 2 point something. So 
if we now have our 81.65 kilogram value and we want to turn this around, what do we do? Where the where pounds to kilograms was all about multiplying by 0 0.49. If we go the other way, we divide by 0 0.453, okay. which is the same as multiplying by 2.205 see so here you're also dividing by here you're dividing by 2.205 so now if we have that 81 kilogram value to convert it to pounds to convert that to pounds multiply by 2.205 So you can see it work for yourself. Test it for yourself in your own calculator and you'll see that 81.65 gives us, as near as makes no difference, 180. The difference just due to rounding because there's even more digits off the end here. We round it to the nearest decimal, decimal place and using that value means we got very close to 180.03825. So that 03825 is just a, a relic of not using all of the decimal spaces that I should be using for these different conversions. If I'm an individual of 180 pounds, I know that I weigh 81.65 kilograms and vice versa. So again, the, the different weight conversions are all linear. It's just about um, multiplying by a constant. So the same works if we're changing from ounces. But now an ounce is quite a small value. So you can change ounces directly into kilograms, but chances are if you have a small value like 10 or 11 or 12 ounces, that's a very small decimal value, a fractional value um, in kilograms. So it might be more useful to first convert this to grams and then convert that gram value to kilograms to have both. To kilograms, but on the way. Well, uh, we'll do grams first. So, one ounce is equals to 0.0283495, kilograms. But if you remember that there's a 10 to the power 3 relationship between grams and kilograms, in other words, gram needs to be divided by 10 to the power 3 to give you a kilogram value, kilogram needs to be multiplied by 10 to the power 3 to give you a gram value. So if we have a kilogram value, we multiply by 10 to the power 3, which means we shift three decimal places to give you a gram value. 28,3495 grams. And this is how we convert ounces to kilograms. So, if I was given, with that in mind, I was given 113 ounces, and I want to convert that to grams or kilograms, I need to multiply by 28,3495 times 28,3495. Grams, and now we divide by a thousand to give us a kilogram value, which is equals to three comma two zero three four kilograms. And again, converting backwards, we now want to convert backwards to ounces. We have to divide by 28,3495 gives us 113. So just like with the distances, um, fairly straightforward linear constant conversions from the one unit into the other. 
um, you don't really get into any trouble with any of them. Um, and again, the relationship of all of the grams, which includes the metric ton, um, is just powers of 10, usually powers of 10 to the power 3, because 10 to the power 3 is 1,000. So the difference between a gram and a kilogram is 1,000. The difference between a gram and a ton of others is another 1,000. So the difference between a gram and a ton is 1,000 and 1,000 again. So 1,000 multiplied by 1,000, which is 10 to the power 3, multiplied by 10 to the power 3, which is the same as going 10 to the power 3 plus 3, which gives you a million. So there's a million difference between gram and ton. There's a thousand difference between gram and kilogram, kilogram and ton. With weight, if we received a weight value from the user, converted it to float, then that value in pounds that we receive from the user, if multiplied by 453, 453.5924, that gives us a gram value, which can be divided by 1,000 to give us a kilogram. And formatted string as the output with our three values, and returning a list with the two. We do the same for ounces, two grams, but again, you could have chosen stone, you could choose metric tons, which is not the same as imperial tons, by the way, for whichever reason. Output a formatted string. 190 pounds is equal to 86 kilograms. And here's the raw data of that, both the gram and kilogram value, neatly tucked into a list that we can make use of somewhere else. 15 ounces gives us 425 grams.